to scan the show dedicated to the show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Howdy, I'm Brian Brushwood. Our first question comes from this guy. Hey, Brian, love the show. Been watching since day one, but now you have 250 episodes of awesome bar scams, and I don't know which ones to forward to my friends. Could you please pick seven of them and put them in a tight little package for me? Thank you. Love you so much. And the answer, of course, is no. I'm incredibly busy, and there's no chance I can edit that together for you. However, I can make Brant do it. So here's seven of the best scam school bar tricks that you've probably missed. Number one, the thumb cuffs. Next time you're at the bar and you have an annoying friend that you want to ditch, offer to show him a kick-ass bar trick. Buy a pint of his favorite beer, have him put his thumbs right on the edge of the table, balance the pint right on his thumbs, and then get the hell out of there. There's nothing he'll be able to do without spilling the beer all over himself. Number two, the static shot. Start by emptying out a packet of sugar. Get it precariously balanced on its side. Then make a big show of charging up static electricity by slapping your face vigorously, pointing and shooting at the piece of paper. The piece of paper will magically fall over and the first thing they'll think is that you're blowing on it. Prove that's not the case by setting a glass between you and the piece of paper and it will still work. Then explain to them the secret that you just have to rub your face and slap it very, very hard to build up that static charge, only they won't be able to do it. If you feel like collecting a free beer for the answer, you could explain that the slapping has nothing to do with it. It just makes them look like an idiot. The real method is as you swing your hand forward to point the gun at it, you create a blast of air that will even travel around a pint glass. Number three, the Kung Fu match, one of my all-time favorites. Take a box of wooden matches and have your friend squeeze on each side to create a pair of goalposts. Balance a third match across the top and tell him you will buy him his favorite beer if he can karate chop down and split that top match into two. When he does, it'll knock down the two goalposts he's squeezing and his hands will light on fire. Hilarity ensues. Number four, transform a cigarette into a razor sharp knife. Get a line from the bar and challenge your friend to use a brand new cigarette to cut a line in half. No using your fingernails to tear it apart. You have to use the cigarette as a blade. When they give up, flip the cigarette over backwards, light the filter in, and with your fingers, pinch it to create the fiberglass razor blade that you can use to cut that lime right in half. Number five, the lift. Start off by having your sucker hold his arms out parallel right in front of him. Place his wrists right underneath your armpits and challenge him to lift his arms straight forward, no bending at the elbows, and lift you up off the ground. There's no chance he'll be able to do it. Then offer to reverse the challenge. You place your arms forward, and just as you're about to summon all your strength, what he doesn't see is your friend coming up, grabbing your fists, and pushing straight up. Your sucker will be absolutely amazed that you summoned a ridiculous amount of strength. Number six, quarter on forehead scam. This is one of my all time favorites. Start off by sticking a quarter to your own forehead just by pushing down really hard. It'll stick long enough that you can bang your head sideways onto the table and prove to them that the lateral force is such that you can't get the coin off without four or five good whacks. Then you set them up with the challenge. If they can get it off in less than four whacks, you'll buy them a beer. As you reach forward to push the coin against their forehead, however, Wrap your fingernails around the outer edge of the coin and push super hard. When you pull the coin away, as long as they don't see it, it will feel like the coin is still on their forehead. At that point, you get to laugh your ass off as he beats himself senseless on the table. Number seven, the human chimney. My all time favorite scam. I still do this all the freaking time. Light a match, hold it forward, and then shake the match out. You'll see a little bit of smoke. If you pantomime grabbing a piece of that smoke and tossing it into your mouth, you can then summon a ridiculous amount of smoke right out of nowhere. The way this works is if you inhale during that initial sulfur flash, whatever one of those poisons are, somehow makes smoke inside your lungs. It's gonna burn like a son of a bitch, but if you be cool, you let your eyes water, you act like nothing's going on, open your mouth and billows of water vapor smoke are gonna come out. P.S. Pretty sure this kills you. So there you have it, seven of my all-time favorite Scam School episodes. Don't forget, new episodes of Scam School every single Wednesday night right here at youtube.com slash scam school. Make sure to subscribe if you want to be my best friend, or if you kind of hate me, that's fine too. Just subscribe, it really doesn't matter why. Also, we're going to continue to do Behind the Scam episodes thanks to our friends over at Doghouse Systems, who just hooked us up with a monster media PC that's going to make it possible for us to do all our media production right here. They even set me up with a promo code. If you go to Doghouse Systems and use promo code Shwood, that's S-H-W-O-O-D. You get the box art that I have on my box completely free, and I'll hook you up with over $100 of awesome loot from scamstuff.com. Don't forget, Scam School is about what you do at the bar. Scam Stuff is about what you bring to the bar. 
Got any questions, hit me up on social media. It's at Schwood on Twitter, plus Schwood on Google+, and of course, fb.com slash Schwood. I love you very much. I'm sorry for that time I did that thing. You know the one. Don't criticize. Can we get past this? Always harping on me for that. Number four, transform a knife into a razor sharp cigarette. Whoa. <laughs> no, you're, you're going to put that in the down to. All right. <clears throat> Number four, transform a knife. <laughs> you, it's like now I can tell you're doing it before you even get there.